I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a fallen soldier table. This can be for Veterans Day or Memorial Day or just for anybody who has somebody in the armed services. We're going to come right here in the center and we're going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the right, we're going to draw a curve line out, come back to the dot, to the left, curve line out on the left. Right where we stop, we're going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, come back to the left, wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. Right here in the center, we're going to draw a slightly curved line out on the left, come back in, slightly curved line out on the right, come back to the bottom, slightly curved line, connect. Now, we're doing a table setting for our fallen soldier, so there's going to be a lot of floating lines and there's going to be a lot of overlaps. So just bear with me, we'll get through this. Right here at the center, we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line over, straight line up, and leave it floating. Come back towards the left, we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line back, connect, Come inside, another curved line, skinny back, straight line over, connect. Inside, we're just going to put little straight lines. Now that we've drawn that, we come back to the left, draw a curved line, connect, jump over, curved line, connect on the right. We're going to take some little dots, little dots going up and right here we're going to draw a flat oval little curve line in on the top little curve line in on the bottom slightly curve line connect straight line out straight line down straight line over connect inside the flat oval we put some little dots inside this space we draw a wavy line and put some more little dots. And I'll explain everything when we get done. This is all going to be labeled or talked about once we finish. All right. Right next to that, we're going to put a curve line down, up, connect. Right underneath, little slightly curved line. Straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Right here, we draw another little flat oval. Straight line out, down, in on the right. Straight line out, down, in on the left. We're going to continue this line, slightly curved line out on the left, slightly curved line out on the right, little curved line, connect. Right next to that, we're going to put curved line, straight line up, little flat oval. Straight line down, curve line, little curve line over. Right at the bottom, another curve line, connect. We're going to go one, two, three, little slightly curved lines. Oops, I forgot. Come over to this, and we're just going to go curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, bam, it crashes into that. That's okay, one more. See, these are those overlaps. Everybody's is going to look a little bit different because we all draw differently. Now, come back over here to this space. Now we're going to connect these lines. Straight line in, connect on the left. Straight line in, connect on the right. Now come on this side and we're going to draw a curved line up. Straight line in. Right next to it, straight line, curved line. Right next to that, little flat oval. Come back to the first one, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Now, 
drawing around. Straight line, slightly curved line, straight line, slightly curved line, up, connect. Okay, this is going to be an overlap. We come right about here, put a dot, curve line down, up, in, curve line, in, curve line, curve line, straight line, straight line, little straight line, curve line out, in, connect. Now, slightly curved line, bam, it crashes into that, that's okay. Come on the right, slightly curved line down, bam, it crashes into that, okay. Jump all the way down and just draw a little curved line up, connect. That's your overlap. Okay, let me see if we're missing anything. One more thing. Now, come over here on this space. We're going to draw a straight line. Straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect. Put a little mimic curve line, straight line, connect again. Straight pair, uh, diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal up, connect. Mimic it again. Little straight line, straight diagonal, straight line up. Straight line, connect. Now, one, two straight lines, little straight line. One, two little straight lines, straight line. One, two little straight lines, straight line. And right here, one, two little straight line. Okay, now we're going to divide up our space. So we're going to put a straight line, jump all the way over, straight line to the edge of your paper. And down here at the bottom, straight line, jump over, straight line. Okay, now we're going to color and we'll identify everything that we just drew. Okay, this is pretty easy to color because there's not much to color. So I'm going to start over here on this space and color this yellow, this space yellow, and this space yellow. Then because I want it to look like it's glowing. I'm going to put a yellow line going around. Next, this is a lemon wedge. So I'm going to color the whole thing yellow. And next is a red rose. So this needs to be red. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of green a little bit of green. That's that. And then the last part is come all the way down to the bottom. And we're just going to do straight red lines. Jump over, straight red lines. Jump over. And in between, we're going to use our blue. So it's red, white, and blue. Okay? That's it. That's all. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you what everything we just drew is. Okay? Alright. The lemon wedge represents the bitter loss of having a fallen soldier. Somebody we lost while in combat or in some way of serving our country. We want everything to be white because everything is clean. And the yellow ribbon is represents families who keep the faith going even though they've lost somebody, maybe missing in action. The candle is for the light of hope. The salt on the lemon is because of the tears that people cry for the soldier who's being missed. And the red rose is for waiting for somebody who's serving to come back. So this goes for people who are lost in combat, and this goes for people who are missing in action. And the empty chair is very important because that's for the spirit, let's say, of the soldier who's not there. Because he can't be. We don't know where he is. Or she is because women serve also. Okay, so this is the Fallen Soldier Table for Memorial Day, for Veterans Day, and a lot of people set this up inside their um, dining room when they're having a celebration. I forgot these little, little connector lines right there. Sorry. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here is my finished Fallen Soldier table. I've seen people do this in auditoriums. I've also seen people do this in restaurants. It's to show that we are aware that somebody is missing and they're serving our country. Okay, bye-bye.